Hello guys, good morning, welcome back. Welcome back to the people that have been coming back to watch all of the videos and welcome to the people that just happened to see the title of this video and say, let me see what this lady is talking about over here. <laughs> Thank you all for stopping back by and stopping by. So this morning, I just wanted to come in and do a morning motivational just to just give you guys a little bit of encouragement before you get started into your day. I am going to try my best to have these videos for morning up a little early so that you can get it before you go into work. But if you don't get it when you go in, hopefully you can get it when you take a break or something. You'll be able to um, watch the video. Alrighty, so you know what we've been doing every morning is making our little cup of coffee. So I'm up making me a cup of coffee and we'll just talk. Um, I did see where somebody said, oh, she gonna win is she gonna get to the point. Guys, you go and you work eight hours, 12 hours, 14 hours for people and you can't watch an eight to 15 minute video giving you a little encouragement. I'm sorry if I don't talk fast enough, if I don't I'm, I, I'm working on that. I'm trying to get straight to the point is basically what some people call it. Um, but I know there are people, I've been seeing them, that will tell you, oh, she gets to this at this point. You know, I don't quite know how to do that just yet. Y'all help Auntie out. Yeah, won't y'all be nice and help Auntie out and let her know and let the people know where, you know, it is where you can just go straight to the message where I'm just going, you know, straight to the point, I guess, or whatever. But I just want to come on and just give a little sunshine and come on and motivate people. I'm not really here to go like 10 points to this and, and straight to that. Honestly, I just got on here telling my, um, telling a little bit about me and what I was going through. So it's, I'm, I'm going to get better through the time. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm going to get better to going straight to the point and, and not going, you know, wrapping around. But I don't honestly be feeling like I be doing that. I kind of be feeling like I'm trying to say what I feel like God is having me to say. Because I don't have any of this pre-done like I do on my vlogs and my other stuff. I go in and I edit and I pre-do a video and I know what I wanted it to be about and I know what I'm going to do. These are kind of like they were live completely put up the same exact day but that's starting to be a little difficult for me because it's taking me a long time to upload and i'm not really sure why i have um the iphone 15 pro that's what i've been um doing these on and i feel like it'll be easier than pulling out my dji uh pocket camera i feel like it'll this will be a little better but we're gonna have to see what works in the end but right now that's what we're doing because i feel like this is easier and everything so let's make some coffee while we talk so this morning you people that say well when did she get to the point it looked like i'm gonna get to the point around the four mark hey guys so i wanted to come on and just motivate you guys i know you're getting ready to start your day you're getting ready to start your week but we're not gonna talk about weeks because i'm gonna do these videos daily and my goal is to do them twice a day i would love to do like a three four i can't do that and because, like I said, it's taken a little minute to get them up. But this morning, the scripture that came to mind was Philippians 2 and 5, where the Bible says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. And I've been talking a lot about rest, and you ladies have been chiming in on that. Uh, a lot of us is like, we're having inadequate sleep. We're not sleeping very good. And it doesn't matter what age you are. This is for all of my people, men and women. A lot of us is not getting very much sleep. Yes, we go to sleep, but we don't get no rest. It's because I'm going to tell you about me. And I feel like since I've been telling about me, people are like, girl, me too. So for me, I can go to sleep. But I get up 2, 3 in the morning with several things on my mind. I remember at one point... I was getting up and I was thinking about my work day before it even started. I would get up and, it, and this was the part where I was thinking about all the work I had to do. And then it turned into thinking about, oh, this, you know, this negative uh, boss and this, you know. So a lot of people, the reasons why they don't sleep is because of things that they're dealing with throughout their day. And they know that they're going to deal with the next day when they get up. And so 
guys i was thinking and you know i've been since i've been doing these videos i've been kind of thinking god what can i say what can i do to encourage people what can i i'm gonna tell you something that i did years ago and that was raising my children trying to raise them to the best of my knowledge trying to raise them you know to be good human beings in this world i think back and i say because now i have a grandbaby a three-year-old grandson and he's he's a a good boy but he's just a lot you know when you first your first baby and everything for my daughter it's kind of a lot for her so I thought about well how was it it didn't feel like a lot for me when I was raising mine and I'm like how did I make it through that how did I raise them without feeling so overwhelmed is what I want to say and this applies to work how can you do this job how can you do what you need to do until you make a plan or get your mind straight to make your plan or it's some people let me say this everybody not looking to work for themselves there are some people that don't mind working for other people so i don't want to preach work for yourself i want to preach do what's best for you because i'm getting a lot of people to this channel with a lot of different situations and i know everybody don't want to be a, their own boss that's not everybody's end goal that could be their end goal, maybe two, three years, but you know it's levels to everything. So I just want to come in and I just want to say, guys, I think that I made it on the word of God. I know it may not be popular to some, and I do have some people that left me some ugly messages, not personally to me, but some people have said, you know, I made it through or I'm making it through prayer i'm making it through this and people have said some really ugly things which don't matter we're, we're not gonna worry about that but i think that you can make it through if you get in that word and if you just and you don't have to be like no super because i told y'all i'm not that super christian i want and when i say super i mean I'm not like I used to see people back in the day i remember back in the day them older people used to pray like they say terry pray to you Terry or Terry to you pray or something like it was something like that that's not me I pray and I go on about my business and I try to listen and hear what God wants me to do every day I make I try to make it plain is what I do and that's why I say I'm not the super because I don't want it to be complicated I don't want it to be where it's so ooh, so weird to where it's almost like she weird you know what I mean I don't want that I want it to be plain and I want it to be simple and I think the plain and the simple is if you just take a few minutes out of your morning before you get up and you just ask God to walk with you today because it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and it says that God will give you favor and God will be with you. Sometimes we are in the wrong place. Sometimes we are we are in the whole wrong field. Sometimes we're just in the wrong place but we can't get our mind right we can't figure out nothing if we're working all the time and we don't get no rest rest is very important guys it's very very important i'm telling y'all i know i can make a plan for things i can do things but when i haven't had any rest and sleep and rest are two different things you can go to sleep but you could wake up not feeling rest and you went to sleep and your mind was still going. When you rest, your mind cease from the day of all the stuff that you've gone through. And the stuff that you know you're going to go through the next day. Because a lot of times when you go into these jobs and you got like this micromanaging boss or you have this you know, or you just overworked. You know that it's going to carry on the next day. So your mind is thinking about what you're going to have to do on Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Thursday morning. Your mind hasn't shut down. So therefore you haven't gotten rest. And when you don't get rest, you can't hardly function. And I think it's actually dangerous to be functioning, especially on certain type of jobs. If you're a male and you don't rest and you're working 12, 14 hours a day and you're working on machinery or if you are driving trucks and cars and you don't rest that's not good or if you're behind 18 wheelers and and here you are driving and you ain't rest because you you're trying to hustle and make this money and i know we all need money but we need rest too y'all i don't know why every time 
because I got like a book of different things that God has been dropping in my heart. And I got at least, I would say, I haven't counted them, but I would say I at least got 15 to 20 different subjects. But I keep coming back to rest. And I don't know why. But, and I think because of what I'm going through. I literally go to sleep, but I don't be resting. And I feel the same way when I get up. Or I don't even get a whole morning's rest. So I think what we all need to do is we need to just stop, take a day off. Because this is what I want to say, and I'm going to end this video. Because this is hard for a lot of people. Because I know a lot of people saying, girl, I don't have the money to, to take a day off. I don't have the money to not do that over time. I, I got to work. I got bills. I got, but let me say this. And especially to my men, because they be feeling like I got to hustle. I got to work. I got to, if you don't take care of your body, because I got a friend like that, a guy friend. He works seven days a week. Sometimes he won't stop. You have to rest. Because you're not fun. You know in your mind, especially as we get older, I think when I, and I say this, but I know some of my 20 and 30, my 40, 30, 40 year olds is on here saying, girl, I'm just this tired. But I think I can't compare myself because when I was in my 30s and I was working and in my 40s, they weren't working us like this. So I probably can't even compare to what my 30 year olds going through now because I'm telling y'all this this is a new thing now that this hustle work work you to pieces so this wasn't going on in my 30s so I'm gonna stop saying that I wasn't as tired when I was in my 30s I didn't work like this in my 30s either no I didn't mm -mm. I got proper rest I went to sleep at night I did eight hour shifts I did not do 12 10 12 hour shifts no I didn't do that I didn't work seven days a week every single day I didn't do that. So this auntie over here want to stop saying, you know what? I I, I, I wasn't tired when I was 30. I wasn't tired when I was 30 because I wasn't doing this when I was 30. No, I wasn't. I probably would have been just as tired, y'all. But we need some rest. So I think sometimes to shut that brain down, I'm going to tell you what I do when I'm going to get off. I pray at night and I pray in the morning before I get up because I don't know what the devil got planned for my day, but I know what God got planned for my day. So in order to counteract all of the distractions that's going to happen is I wake up with a prayer before I look at my phone, before I get up out that bed, before I brush my teeth, before I do anything, I say a prayer. And this is what I think that we all need. And that there are some people that say, I do all of that. I do that. I Less fun of a people to say, oh, girl, I'm already doing all that. I got that down. I, but if you got it down, sis, bro, or you trust in what you're doing. If you say, girl, I got scriptures all around me. I got them in my spirit. I got them in my heart. I read them. I read the Bible. I go to church. You know you can do all of that. But if you're not really trusting and having faith, none of that means nothing to you. Even the devil know the word of God. <laughs> you know, because what did he tell Jesus when he was coming off of his fast? He knew who Jesus was, just like the devil knows who the word of God is. And the devil knows what God has for you. That's why he aggravating you like that on that job. So even though if you one of my seasoned Christians, the word that you know, we're going to have to put it into action. And this is for myself. Because I got a lot that is buried deep down in my heart. That That's how I made it in raising my kids. Was through the word of God. That's how I made it. I don't have no other formula. But I will come on here with motivation. Auntie will come on here with, you know, just talking about what we're dealing with. I'm going to do that every day. But I don't want to just leave you with what we're dealing with every day and don't try to give you no encouraging words. 
the encouraging word of the day is make sure that you pray in the morning. Make sure you pray at night. And something else I do, and I'm going to end this video, is I listen to, her name is Dodie Osteen. I listen to her scriptures at night when my mind just won't shut down. Because y'all, I have been where, especially during menopause, I didn't, this was, I didn't ever deal with this until after menopause. And I went into menopause the day after my surgery. And I don't, I actually mean it. That's not just something I'm saying. I went into menopause the very next day after surgery was the day that I felt a hot flash. So I never really dealt with insomnia or not being able to sleep or mind not shutting down. I never dealt with that. So it's like, girl, you got to rest. You got to sleep. You got to shut your mind down. But that's easier said than done for people to have insomnia. And so, guys, I just want you to just leave her being encouraged, knowing that God is in control of your day, not the devil. Knowing that you can make it. And everything's going to be all right. We all are going to make it through this. We are. We are. And I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day. I hope that you come back and you get encouraged every time you watch these videos. Will all of them be encouragement? Some of them is going to be to inform people what's going on in the world. All of them won't be encouragement. Some of them will be, this is what I dealt with or is dealing with or have seen in the workplace or everything won't be sounding very encouraging because what's going on with us in the workplace is not encouraging. So all of it won't be, quote unquote, necessary encouragement. Some of it will be things that we're literally dealing with every single day. But I want you to be encouraged. I want you to know that you can make it. Just breathe before you go in there. Pray before you go in there. Meditate. And stay strong. Alrighty, y'all. I'm going to see you uh, this evening. Bye. Or I'll see you probably. I've been trying to upload them in the morning and sometime around 2 or so. Alrighty, guys. I'll talk to you later. You have a blessed day, okay? Let me say, ma'am. Let me say, sir. You are not alone.